Betty, Betty, Betty it's, it's Joy, Joy, and, and this, and this is, my is my Variety Live. Live. So, so because, because in, in like, like, just about, just a, about month, a month, Easter, Easter is coming. Is coming. So, so I thought I, I would create, create something, something with this adorable this Easter Bunny stamp set, and it has a coordinating punch. It will punch out this, and I know this looks backwards on here, but then when you turn your punch upside down, it does match. So these items are from the annual catalog. So sometimes the annual catalog, when, our, when the new mini catalogs come out, we just forget about them. So I wanted to do something with this. So it's a really cute, um, adorable little set. You can do stuff for spring. You can do stuff for Easter. It's just really cute. And um, so we are going to be working with that today. We're also going to be working with a celebration item because there's a few more days left. Just um, you can get free items with a $50 or $100 purchase here in the United States. And... Um, yeah, there's just all kinds of wonderful um, things that you can earn that we still have um, these free items in the brochure. We're going to be using the Sunny Days um, Designer Series paper, but there are several items still, and then there's new items that they've actually added um, that you can get that you can see online. So let me go ahead and bring out the Sunny Days um designer series paper. The picture in the brochure really doesn't do it justice. It has some really nice um, paper here. So you have your patterns, you have a pat this pattern, you have just kind of a, um, a multitude of patterns that are just very um, springtime and kind of summer-ish. Um, so you have all of these great patterns and of course you have these cherries I want to do something with the cherries and the um, the, the stamp set that has the cherries in it in the new catalog so maybe you'll see that in a couple of days so there you have these patterns on one side and then of course our paper has two sides so on the back side you have these more subtle patterns which I just love I'm going to be using this cloud pattern here today. It does have cloud and then it has rain um, patterns as a rain, you know, kind of a little rain pattern at the bottom there. So that's a really fun one to use. So let's go ahead. I'm going to bring in what I'm going to make today. So I have this cute, adorable little card and then we are going to use some of these loose um, daisy embellishments. So we have this little card, and then we have the inside with a little strip as well. And then we have this little rabbit that is on a little wobble. So I'll be showing you that as well. So let's move some of this out of the way and bring in some of our pieces. We've got a card base. We've got a, a narrow card base. So this is basically four and a quarter inches by 11 inches. So this is um, cut in half the um, long way instead of the short way. So four and a half by 11 inches and then it is scored at the five and a half inch mark. So let's go ahead and let's get that if we can get that going, bring in a bone folder. So we have this one here. And this one's going to be a little bit different. Instead of opening, opening tall, we're going to open it kind of a short, squatty, which is just sometimes you just got to change things up. So we also need for this. We need two pieces, one for the inside and one for the outside, a basic white. And those pieces are three and three quarter inches by five inches. So two of those, like I said, one for the inside and one for the outside. Then we need our designer series paper. 
and um, we have a piece. This is this was to maximize the best um, amount of just the clouds here. So we have a piece that is two and three fourths inches by four and three fourths inches, and then we had a, some little extra over le extra left over after we cut some of these pieces. And so this is just a half inch by three and three quarter inches. So that's going to go on the inside. So let's go ahead and pull out what else we need. We need another piece of basic white, which is one inch by two and three fourths inches. And we're going to be using that with this punch. This is the banners pick a punch. So we're going to be using this piece here with the banner punch. And then we need our grass. So we need a strip of granny apple green, one inch by four and three fourths inches. So there we have that. And then to make our grass, I first started, and you can totally do this. I took my paper snips and I just kind of, you know, cut down and just kind of kept going. Doesn't have to be perfect. And so I just kind of did it like this. And you can see that on this hair. But then I remembered that we have a die set, the Beautiful Balloons dies. It has this great die here that will cut that for me. So I went ahead and did one like that. And that is using this die, this long die here from the Beautiful Balloons die set. So it's like, oh, that saves me a lot of time. But you can certainly do it by hand with the scissors. And it really doesn't take that long. So we have, we have that strip ready to go. And then we need a strip, just a scrap strip, um, just kind of a piece big enough to fit your bunny. So I'm going to go ahead. I've done one ahead. Let me flip that over. And I've colored it with the blends. So the blends do, you got to remember when you do your blends, you'll have to layer it on something because they do bleed through. So let me go ahead and ink this up. I am using the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. Oh yes, I've already got ink on my fingers. Look at that. That just means I'm having fun. Inky fingers just means you're having fun. There we have that. And I'm bringing in my blends. I'm bringing in my light and dark um, gray granite. So I need the light. I'm going to start with the light. And it has two ends. It has a brush tip and a bullet tip. So I'm going to start with the brush tip. And I'm just going to go in and do some coloring. I'm going to leave some white areas. And you just need a very, very light touch with these. Like you're barely touching the paper with these. And then you can use the bullet tip or you can come in with the very tip of that brush tip and come in and do all of these areas. Then you can come in with the dark and I like to use the bullet tip when I'm doing this part. But you can come in with the dark and you can do some shading. doing some shading on his ears here and kind of 
some shading here, some shading back here, make his nose a little darker. And you can come back with your um, light and kind of blend that in a little bit so that the um, shading lines are not as harsh. But if you get a little bit, see I got a little bit where I didn't want it there. So that's what our color lifter is for. So I'm going to take my color lifter and I'm going to just go over that a couple times. What this is doing is pushing the color away. And there you, it's like a magic eraser. But you can also use the color lifter to, to do highlight areas as well. So so that you don't have to watch me do that, I've got one that I've already colored. I've used um, some of the um, petal pink, light and dark, and the basic, uh, no, not basic gray, um, gray granite. So gray granite, light and dark, and petal pink, light and dark on this little bunny. And again, you can see I've used mostly the light gray granite, and then I've just kind of gone in a couple little areas and done a little bit of shading. So now I can go ahead and I can punch out this bunny, you know, turning turning it over so you can see through the window. And I can just line that up and punch out that bunny. So there we have that. Now I want to take this piece and I'm going to put it in. I want a little, um, this kind of a banner instead of a flag banner. So this goes in. This is one inch. It does one inch, three fourths of an inch and half an inch. So it just kind of slides in. I'm going to turn it over to make sure it goes where I want it to go. And it goes all the way back. So there we have that little piece. And this one I did more of a springtime sentiment, but um, I'm going to be doing a happy Easter this time. So we have our Memento Tuxedo Black ink again, and our happy Easter stamp from the Easter Bunny stamp set. I'm going to stamp it on the top half of this because I want to leave a little space to put embellishments down below. So there we have our Happy Easter. And um, we have those two going. So now we can start assembly. So to start off, I want to take my designer series paper, which is from the Sunny Days, which is part of um, a celebration offering. Just hold this down for a minute. And if you order the Easter Bunny stamp set and the Easter Bunny punch, and um, like even just the loose daisy um, embellishments, that should, um, you should be really close, maybe only need some um, multi-purpose liquid glue or some dimensionals um, to get you to your $50 level. Of course, we also have $100 levels. So you might, find that you um, are really close to that $100 level and you might as well go there and get $100 or $250 um, items from Celebration. I like to use the multi-purpose liquid glue when I need to have a little bit of wiggle room. So I'm just doing this at the bottom. Now 
And this is going to go below here, so you won't even notice that our um, clouds don't come down all the way. Then I want to take these and just kind of, you know, kind of move those around so that they're not so static, so that they give the card a little bit of movement, a little more texture, so that you've got some pieces going up and some pieces going down. Now it's time to put our wobble on. Now, I got these wobbles. Stampin' Up! does not sell these wobbles, but they are really fun. You can make your own, but to save time, it's just nice to buy them. You buy them, and in, in, uh, you can get them in bulk packages, and they come already pre-done with little um, sticky back um, areas. So first, I want to kind of give my bunny a little bit of life by kind of doing him like this, curling him just a little bit so that when he goes on the front of the card he will look a little three-dimensional. Then we have this piece here that if you use your take your pick tool you can lift that up And this part goes on your bunny. And then you have a piece back here that you get to you need it to lift up. It will come. There it goes. So then I can pull that part off. And that will attach to my card. So before I do that, I think I want to attach this to the front of my card base. So he can just hang out there for a minute. And I'm going to put this layer onto my card front. Of this because I've cut it down a little bit smaller than a typical layer and we will have a bigger border around okay now I want to put my bunny on there I don't see that anybody's joined me live but when you see this on replay, please go ahead and chime in and leave me some comments. So there you have it. This and when you mail it, this will this will go flatter. So it should be still mailable. And then this piece. Yeah. Huh. Well, this looks just fine. On this one, I noticed I put this layer on dimensionals, but I didn't on this one. And you know what? They're both just fine. So we're just going to leave it that way. I am going to put some dimensionals on the back of this piece, though. Then I think I want some, a couple of little ones here and here so I don't have any saggy parts. This is going to go on my card front as well. So this, I like my cards to be, I don't, I'm not too much of a, um, even Steven kind of a girl. I like things kind of offset just a little bit. I think it gives your card a little more movement. So I'm going to put that over there. And then we want to take some of these um, 
loose daisy embellishments and a roll of um, glue dots. And we want to take and put some of these on our card. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take a white one. And these glue dots will be just a tiny bit bigger. So you want to kind of tuck the extra glue behind. And maybe I need my tweezers. Hmm. Not sure where the skinny tweezers are. And we're going to try to figure out the middle. And then we need a couple of yellow ones. Again, tucking some of that extra glue behind. And one more of the yellow ones. This one, if you want the the leaf to go down on this one. So we're going to put those on there and then we want to put a few flowers in the grass. So we're going to pick some of these up. They're very flat. And we just want to put some of these in the grass, kind of alternating between the white and the yellow. Pick this one up with my fingers, I think. And just keep going. So we are having kind of a nice warmer day today, a little cooler yesterday, but this weekend it's going to be like springtime weather. One more yellow. Tuck the little glue, extra glue under. Whoop, that one turned upside down. Well, there we have it. Kind of where did our little grass go? It's tucked underneath the sanitary's paper. There we go. So there we have it. We have the outside all finished. So now it's time to work on the inside, which that should go really pretty quick and easy. Let me put this last little daisy back. You get a, so many of those little daisy embellishments in there. You could do a bunch of shaker cards, just kind of whatever you feel like with that. And here we have our little designer series paper strip, and that's going to go on about here. 
And then I'm going to put Enjoy All the Little Moments in the inside and using our Memento Tuxedo block. Kind of centering that up towards the top, but centering it between the edge and the designer series paper. Because if you make a fancy outside, you kind of need a fancy inside. Now I'm going to bring in some Daffodil Delight, light and dark, and color that butterfly in. And I'm doing this before I put it on my card for a reason, because this is going to leak through a little bit with these blends. So I just need the bullet tip of the light. I'm just coloring these wings. It's okay if I get it in the spot area, but because um, I'm going to go back with the darker one where the spots are. And then our darker um, Daffodil Delight. Come on. Sometimes if they're new, the caps it's a little bit harder to get them off. So just wiggle, wiggle them and kind of work with them. So you can get it off. Try not to um, pull it too hard or you'll pull the barrel out, which is not good. I've got a little bit of that spot right there. I kind of went over just a little bit, so I'm just going to go back over that with the light yellow. And it kind of blends it all together. The blends, the Stampin' Blends have alcohol in them so that the colors do blend together, which is what you want. So just a light amount of the um, Tombow Multi um, Mono Liquid Glue, Multi-Purpose Liquid Glue. Then this piece is just going to go on here with just a little bit of a border on that edge. And now I can attach this to the inside of my card. See how it blends out a little bit? If we had already had this on here, we would risk it going through this layer as well. So that's why we wanted to do it before we attached it. So we're just finishing up the inside and then we will be all done with this card. This was a very um, pretty quick and easy card. Again, this was the same size as the layer on the outside, so we got a larger border around. So there we have a happy Easter and one that's just a spring. Enjoy all the little moments. Now the, on the inside of this one, it does have it's a new day. So this is more spring where this is more Easter. So there we have it. And as always, when I'm doing my um, lives, I have a very messy desk. So um, you will find an item that I didn't use in my presentation. So be sure and play along with the game. What didn't belong? Which, you know, which thing is not like the other? Which thing didn't belong in my presentation? And put that in the comments when you watch this on replay. I'll see you next time. Bye.